Hello, my storytime friends. Today we're going to read The Berenstein Bears, Patience, Please, written by Mike Berenstein. If you have a copy, go ahead and get it so you can read along with me. Brother, sister, and honey bear enjoyed helping mama and papa in the garden. There was a fine vegetable garden in the backyard as well as beautiful flower beds all around the bear family's treehouse. The cubs helped plant seeds, water, and wheat. They also helped pick the veggies when they were ripe. One spring morning, as the family worked in the garden, Papa posed a question. Cubs, he said, would you like to have gardens of your very own? You mean we can have our own plots of land? Brother asked. That's right, said Papa. And we can grow whatever we want, added Sister. Of course, said Papa. You'll have to do all the work yourselves. It will teach you self-reliance. Yay, said Honey. That's a good idea, Papa, said Mama. It will help teach the cubs patience, too. You have to be very patient when helping things grow. Papa and Mama guided the cubs in selecting plots of ground for their gardens. The cubs laid them out with stakes and string. Then the whole family went down to Rough Grizzly's hardware store to buy seeds. It was hard to select which vegetables to grow. There were so many different kinds. Brother chose cucumbers, tomatoes, celery, lettuce, and parsley. Sister picked carrots, squash, radishes, potatoes, and peas. Honey loved flowers. She stood gazing at the pretty pictures on the seed packages for a long time. Finally, she grabbed a big handful. The next day, the cubs set to work. It was hot, hard labor. Brother and sister were very organized. First, they turned up the soil with shovels and worked in the fertilizer. Next, they made neat rows and dug small holes to drop the seeds in. Then, they made signs from the seed packages to mark the end of each row. Finally, they got out the hose and gave the gardens a good soaking. It did require a lot of patience. Honey went about things a bit differently. She tore the tops of her flower seed packages and stood in the middle of her plot. She closed her eyes, held her arms out, and spun around and around. The flower seeds flew everywhere. Brother and sister were a little startled. Honey, said sister, I don't think that's going to work. You need to till the ground before you plant the seeds. Pretty flowers, said honey, pointing at the picture on one of the empty packages. Yes, but, began brother. Honey ran off chasing a butterfly. Brother and sister just shrugged. The next day, brother and sister checked their gardens to see if anything was sprouting but it was too soon. They went out the next morning too. There was nothing doing. Every day they checked their plots, but nothing seemed to be happening. The cubs grew impatient. When is our garden going to sprout? They asked Mama and Papa. You have to be patient, said Mama. Have faith that what you have planted will grow in God's good time. Seems to me, I remember lines in the Bible about that, said Papa. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it, until it receives the early and the late rains. You also be patient. That's from the book of James, said Mama. The cub sighed, wishing things didn't take so long. The next day, brother and sister warily trudged out to check on their gardens one more time. All along each row, little green shoots were pushing up. Mama, Papa, they called. Come look, our gardens are growing. 
Then they noticed Honey's little plot. Their mouths dropped open. Honey's garden was filled with beautiful flowers. Big ones, little ones, red ones, pink ones, yellow and blue ones. They were gorgeous. Well, Honey, said Papa with a chuckle, God certainly made your garden grow. You've shown us the power of faith and trust along with patience. Pretty flower, said Honey happily. A dove cooed in a nearby tree. Flowers appear on the earth. The season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land, Mama quoted from the Song of Songs in the Bible. I hear the dove and I see the flowers, said Papa. Now how about a little singing? He got down on one knee and sang to Mama. My wild bearish rose, the fairest flower that grows. Really, Papa, said Mama, blushing. What will the cubs think? But the cubs giggled in delight. If you like that story, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.